play, Dino Breath, is Ooktaz. His soap is not. Stop it, you two. There's plenty for both of you. Yo! Ooktaz is impossible. All he does all day is squabble with Yoshi. It's not just him. Look! It's like Ooktar started an epidemic. We've got to do something. Maybe if we could get Ooktar to be nicer, it might rub off on the others. You know how everyone gets nice to each other around the holidays? Michael! Yo! Hey, you mean like Christmas? You popped your plunger, big brother. It's the middle of August. Michael! We're in dinosaur world, Luigi. We can have a Christmas anytime we want. The cave people don't know it doesn't come in the summer. My coin! My coin! We'll call it Cave Christmas. What that? It's a day when everyone's nice to each other. Oh, God, boring, man. And kids get lots of treats. Ooh, eat treats! Hmm, getting better. And there's this nice guy named Santa Claus who brings presents to all the kids who've been good. Only good kids? That's right, Uktar. Dino bummer, dude. Merry Cave Christmas, everyone! <laughs> Christmas? What's that pipe squeezer up to now? It's the hottest day of the year. <laughs> See, Bully? They're cutting a Christmas tree. I want one, King Dad. Ouch! Ow! Ow. Hey! Hmm? Remember, Yoshi, Santa Claus only brings presents to good children. Oh. This Santa Claus only brings presents to good children? What kind of wimp is he? Don't worry, bully. I have a plan. Ugta one. Ugta, I know you're there. all those happy children on cave Christmas morning. We're gonna wait a long time, Princess, because these toys are going to my Koopa kids on Koopa Christmas morning. <laughs> Christmas Eve. Just like back home in Brooklyn, huh, Luigi? Uh, not exactly. Before Santa visit Goody Twofoots, Ukta get best toys. <laughs> <gasps> Dino Bunga, Ukta get caught! Are those cave kids gonna whimper when they find out I cooped all their toys? <laughs> Merry Koopa Christmas, boys and girls! So, what do you think? Uh, don't try wearing it in Brooklyn! <laughs> <laughs> the toys! They're gone! <gasps> and I know who stole them. Koopa! Look, here's one of his scales. Why, that contemptible corpuscle? This is low, even for Koopa. What are you gonna do? Only one thing to do. Go to Neon Castle and get them back. My 
My Koopalings will be so happy when they see all the wonderful presents I stole for them. <clears throat> you! What are you doing in my bag of toys, Cave Creep? Your bag? These my toys, Koopa Dude. Wrong, prehistoric punk. They're mine. Yeah? What, this scale brain? Give it back. That's for bully. Mine now. <clears throat> Ooga Bomba. Give a bomb to own kids? Ugh, glad you not my dad. Stop. You're not supposed to go off till Christmas! Morning! <laughs> you white yay Uh-oh! Koopa Flip Lizard Lid! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> some explaining to do. No time. Must go bed like good cave kid. Wait for Santa bring. Presents? Wow. Haven't you opened all of Santa's presents already? Me sorry. Ookta not been good. Not been good? Ookta been bad? Yoshi no angel either. Ookta promised be good cave boy for rest of life. Cross Ookta heart. And cross Ookta's fingers too. How Santa know? Santa was a Bambino, a uh, uh, boy, once himself, Uktar. Step on it, Yoshi! Oh, no can do! Yoshi no got wings! Right, wings! Hold on, little buddy! When I get my claws on Santa, I'll turn huh? him into Christmas pudding! Quick, Yoshi, or we may never get out of here! All right, into bed, Uktar, before Yoshi loses his wings. We still have presents to deliver all over Dome City. Me no Uktar bad, cause Santa big trouble. No deserve present. But Uktar thankful Santa saved me from dinosaur. That present enough. Why, Uktar, this isn't like you. Course, if Santa won't leave Uktar present, Uktar be very happy. Santa 
a new lead present for Mario. Ooktar Play Santa. Ooktar! Merry Cave Christmas, Mario dude! Wouldn't it be nice if every day were Christmas? In a startling twist of events, the diabolical Dr. Wily has joined forces with Dr. Wright to bring peace to Videoland at last. Building a super robot to keep peace in Videoland was a brilliant idea, Dr. Wright. Its first act of peace was bringing the two of us together in friendship. I'll be back with my new control device before I can say peace. Peace, all right. A piece of cake to steal that super robot. Master, is it time to take over Video Land? Is it, huh? Is it? Calm down, metalhead. We can't do anything until Captain Ninny and Mega Morgan come back from Top Land with the last energy tank. I'm telling you, Mega Man, the baddest dog in Video Land is Duke. No way, Captain N. My Robo Dog Rush is the new Mega Mutt. Time to play ball! Looks like our flight's leaving. Follow that dog! Lost him, Captain N. No, look there. Good old Duke's got Top Man cornered. I'll hit him with my punchline. All right, we got the last energy tank for the Peace Robot. You're the hero of this trip, fella for sniffing out Top Man. Wait a mega minute. We wouldn't even be here without the Rush rocket. Duke chased that cat away. Yeah, well, not without Rush's help, he didn't. Thank you, N-Team. All we need now is the control device Dr. Wily built for the robot. Dr. Wright, are you sure you can trust that mega rat? There's good in everybody, Mega Man. You just have to look for it. <laughs> yeah, well, while he does wear a clean lab coat. <laughs> and now I'm gonna clean up on Video Land. After my control device turns that peace robot deliciously evil. But first, we have to get Captain Nitwit and Mega Might out of the way. <laughs> and I know just the bait to trap them with. Those doggies. Come on, Mega Man. We earned ourselves some rest and relaxation. Come on, Duke! Go! Go! You got him, Rush! Mega Go! 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 <laughs> Duke, you won Paws down. That's okay, boy. You'll beat his tail off in the Frisbee free-for-all. Here we go again. Arf. Get ready, set, go! Say bye-bye, doggies. <laughs> oh, wasn't that Dr. Wily's lab? Uh, yeah, better known as Skull Castle. But why would he want to kidnap Duke and Rush? Well, like I said, Mega Man, 
Once a sleezoid, always a sleezoid. Let's hit it! That's Duke! I'd know his hell anywhere. Why are the good guys always such chumps? Can I spring the trap, mister? Can I, huh? I like your attitude, Doc Robot. Go on, enjoy! Stand back, Captain Ed. I'm gonna blast the door! <laughs> Why do I get the feeling we're about to go on spin cycle? So nice of you to come to my pool party. I do hope you'll stay for dinner. My Robo Turtles just love superheroes. <laughs> If you're still around after dinner, you can watch me and my new peace robot take over Video Land. You'll pay for this, Dr. Wily. Sorry, Captain Numskull. I left my wallet in my other lab coat. Huh? If we get out of this, remind me to have my zapper waterproofed. Hey, that's it! My one non-powered weapon, the Shadow Blade! Major Brainwave, Mega Man! You turned it into a turtle vacuum! Now all we have to do is keep it from sucking us up, too! <laughs> That creep Wiley just better not have hurt our dogs. Well, I'm off to steal my peace, robot. While I'm gone, make sure Captain Nudnik and Maggot Men enjoy their misery. Oh, goody, goody, goody. What about dogs? Cut them from the team. Will do, master. if we're still in video land. Darn! Out of the frying pan and into the fire! Wily's stolen the peace robot. We've got to find him. I think we just did. I guess you didn't get my point. Whoa, this game is getting hot. Too hot. I'll crush you like insects for that. Please help! Ah! 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 Ah!
I wonder what got into Dr. Wiley. Something must be bugging him. Arf, arf, arf. Did, Did you, you say something? something? <laughs> Duke, you can talk. No way, that was Rush. <laughs> you know, Luigi, living in dinosaur world can be bad for your health. Brother, I see what you mean. Yeah, trouble at every turn. <laughs> see? The cave people are always hurting themselves. Look over there. <laughs> That's smuts. Always having accidents. Oh, oh, oh Chukumba. Yoshi fall. I saw what happened. Show me where it hurts, Yoshi. <laughs> Good thing Band-Aids come in four sizes. Small, medium, large, and dinosaur. <laughs> that should make your dinosaur feel better, Yoshi. What we really need is an emergency number to call. Mom. Like right now, for instance. That's the biggest dinosaur I've ever seen. And he looks awfully hungry. Not to mention just plain awful. No! Emergency number! Emergency number! Emergency number! Only trouble is, Yoshi, calling an emergency number doesn't work without a telephone. What telephone do? Well, it carries sound. <laughs> Watch this, Luigi. Why coconuts? Now, melons are too juicy. They drip in your ears. Here, let's try it. Hello? Luigi? Can you hear me? Sorry, I have a coconut in my ear. Try talking to me, Einstein. Okay. Hello? Mario, are you there? Yes, 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 I'm here. <laughs> I've done it! Yes, congratulations, Alexander Graham Mario. Speak to me. Mario, are you there? Yeah. Darn, somebody put me on hold. I've reinvented the telephone. <laughs> Our first payphone. Isn't it great, Luigi? Check it out. Now, if there's an emergency or an accident, the cave people can call for help. A phone in every dome. Gee, I hope everyone doesn't decide to reach out and touch someone at the same time. No way. You worry too much, Luigi. Hello, Dome Central. This is your princess speaking. Sorry, that vine is busy. Power Kanga. Yoshi here, Ugtar. Yoshi here, Ugtar, too good. <laughs> Who needs telephone? Maybe you're right, Luigi. Princess Toadstool is getting too wrapped up in her work. This whole telephone business is getting out of hand. Look! Those vines are multiplying as we speak! I thought air pollution was bad, but vine pollution? The noise pollution is worse! Well, they might talk to us if we sent them a phone bill. Problem is, they can't read. Ah, the payphone idea didn't work. Nothing stops them. And now the crops are dying from neglect, while all they do is gossip. They don't work, they don't play, they've turned into phone junkies. If they don't tend their crops, they don't eat. If they don't eat, they'll starve. It could be the end of cave people kind. Speaking of which... Earthquake! Worse than that, caterpillar quake! Oh! <laughs> Yikes! Call the emergency number!
number! I don't have any cards! Do what the cave people do! Bash the block! Why do I feel guilty about this? You're gonna feel a lot guiltier if I end up as Caterpillar Joe! Help! Caterpillar Doc! It's, it's busy! Climb, Luigi! It's our only hope! <laughs> They're eating our telephone vines! That'll solve the phone problem! Yeah, but... What about our problem? We're trapped in these vines. The cave people are too busy talking on the phone to help us. Wait! Floating blocks! They do hide or reach. Wow! Yeah. Whoa! Oof. Star Luigi! All right, Invincible Luigi at your service! Time to kick some caterpillar! Help! Pest control! You cold? Yeah, make these critters bug off! These will be the first caterpillars in orbit! Lift off! <laughs> What have we done? Mario, uh, help! Uh, I can't move! This is a fine state of affairs. Listen to them. A few vines go down and they go crazy. I need a break. Ugh. We have to get rid of these telephone vines before they choke out what passes for civilization around here. Oof. <laughs> Us out too. Ah! It's that big pile of scales again, and he looks even hungrier than before. The cave people are too busy talking on the phone to notice a thing. They'll be sitting ducks. Now you can say that again. All they do is quack, quack, quack. Luigi, you and the princess warn the cave people. I'll distract our hungry friend. <laughs> Call me Mario Da Vinci! I just invented the Dinocopter! Gosh, the cave people even talk on the phone in their sleep! This is our big chance to get things back to normal! By tomorrow, they'll have forgotten they ever had a phone system! Now, these vines are going down permanently. Next time we have an emergency around here, we're going to rely on good old lung power to see us through. <laughs> Keep eating, Yosh! Oh, Yoshi having vine time, Mario! <laughs> <laughs> Huh? <laughs> 
What do you think, guys? Uh, the field's fine, but uh, I don't think the cave people are wild about being farmers. Especially when all they have to do when they're hungry is reach out and grab some grub. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Good idea. Mario, if Luigi thinks that he can teach the cave people farming, let him try. Sure, they're gonna love it. Right, guys? Right. First, we learn how to plow. All you gotta do is make a straight line. Go, Yoshi! It's a cinch! Hey, you see? Nothing to it! This is better than bad, Dad. This is baddest. If those cave cretins succeed in growing their own food, I'll never be able to subjugate them. Unless Luigi's reptile of repulsiveness, we stole all the crops. We could start a famine. The cave people would have to come to me for food. It's brilliant. Glad I thought of it. I'll leave the details in good claws. If those cave loads get anything growing, I'm counting on you to plan map it. I will be ever vigilant, oh perfidious parent of peevishness. Hey, planting is simple. It's just putting things in the ground. <laughs> Assuming it gets to the ground. You guys can put stuff on the ground, can't you? Bingo! <laughs> Maybe this isn't going to be so easy. Rats! If they can't grow crops, I'll have nothing to steal. There's no way to get this wrong, right, guys? Ungala! Now, go get some water. Out to me. Hey, big brother, when that crop is in, you're gonna eat those words. As well as some very good vegetables. I can taste them already. Cave carrots, stone squash, pebble peas. Hmm. Well, Mama always said you were good at growing. Yeah, well, that's why I'm the tall one, little big brother. <laughs> He's hungry. 
I remember now. Television. But there's no TV here in the Stone Age. It hasn't been invented yet. Or has it? Looky Boo, come see. Do my eyes deceive me? Or is that the biggest television set I ever saw in my life? But there's nothing on. Well, maybe they forgot to plug it in. Hurry it up there. I gotta go on right away. Hi, everybody. I'm Robbie Rockwell, and I'm here today to tell you about Rock TV. Say, what that? I'm glad you asked. On Rock TV, friends, you can watch all kinds of wonderful shows. Great shows like Mr. Cooper's Neighborhood. <laughs> We've got the World Dinosaur Wrestling Federation. We'll have the real thing. How about this? Totally hip rock rock TV. Far out, Dino Bunga. With stars like Vanilla Ice Age. Ice Age Baby. Now, here's the really big news. You can enjoy all this on your very own rock TV in your very own cave. Yay! How do we get one? <laughs> More important, how much? You ask how? You ask how much? You can own your own Koopa Sonic Rock TV, and it's all yours for a measly 10 coins down and a coin a minute. Hmm, 10 coins down. <laughs> That's cheap. But a coin a minute, Mario? That's gonna end up fast. Remember the trouble we got into in that Speak to Santa hotline back in Brooklyn? <laughs> Phone bill amount due one thousand two hundred and ninety five dollars and thirty one cents. Hey, that was back when we had to work for a living. Now all we have to do is bash a few blocks and rake in the buckaroos. Next. Hey, Mario, how come his lips aren't moving when he talks? Maybe he's been watching too many cartoons. Who cares? I want my rock TV. Ten clams. I, I mean, coins. Clams, coins, old socks. We're giving them away. Here's your rock TV, sir. Have a nice day. Uh, where's the remote? Uh, you'll have to get on the waiting list. It'll be a few thousand years. In the meantime, just add money, kick back, and enjoy. Next. Well, count me out. Yoshi and I are going for a nature walk. Uh, but... Uh, hey, maybe we'll see you on PBS. Whoa! And now it's time for everybody's favorite Koopa Robic show, Koopa Says. All right, everybody. Koopa Says, up on your feet. It's time to trim all that ugly fat. Now! Koopa Says, jump up and down and kick your legs around. Come on, you lazy cake potatoes. Koopa Says, Look like a chickadactyl. <laughs> Don't you love it? <laughs> hey, and now here's a real special game Cooper wants everybody to play. Listen up real good. Hey, our TV's broken. Maybe we've got to add coins. Cooper says, everybody go to the Dome Castle and get Mario and Luigi and bring them to me. Nah, worthless Koopa junk. What's that sound? <laughs> Cave people carrying clubs. They're storming the castle. Get Mario, get Luigi. Ah, my fine flushing fools. You are two lucky plumbers. You're gonna be TV stars. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, friends. TV stars? What's the show? 
All-Star Prehistoric Tag Team Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> It, Mario. Thanks to us, Koopa finally gave everybody a show worth watching. It's not over yet! <laughs> Time out! <laughs> Cease and desist! Stop! <laughs> oh, no! organization and teamwork. Hey, Mario, look what I made. It's a stone, Luigi. You didn't make it. It's a football. I chiseled it. 
Well, what are you waiting for? Throw me a pass! It's even official size! Yep. <laughs> but not official weight! Hey! You've just thrown me a great idea! We'll use football to teach the cavemen organization and teamwork! Oh, Slam, yeah. 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 Teamwork! All right, men! Let's play football! Football? So that's their little game. We'd better tell King Dad. All right, now, if you get to there, you score a touchdown. Okay? Who wants to start with the ball first? Yoshi do! Yoshi do! shot, Yoshi, but I'm going to diagram some plays that just might get us out of here with Luigi. I am the Emperor of Eavesdropping. Oh, I scared Mario. All right, Yoshi, you and I may not be the best football players in the world, but we have to go out there and give it our best and work together like a team. After all, it doesn't matter if we win or lose, it's how we play the game. But, but it do matter. If we break egg, Luigi gets scrambled. <laughs> Yay! Looking live at the Koopa Dome, where football is played the way it was meant to be played, in a dark, damp, dusty dungeon. Welcome to today's game, featuring those bad boys of the Neon Castle, the Versus the dome head, Mario and Yoshi, who, by the way, don't seem to have any fans in attendance. 
Sure, Cheatsy might let a lot of penalties go unnoticed, but you have to let them play the game. Cheatsy is so unbiased that in a gesture of goodwill, Mario and Yoshi will start the play. So it'll be first and ten, but it might as well be fourth and long because it's now or never, it's do or die, and it's sudden death if that egg breaks open. Boy, that missed extra point sure looms big now. Oh, the excitement's building now, folks. Ah, oh, shut up! We'll never get started. Okay, Yosh, remember our plays, and remember that we have to use teamwork. You see those double doors over there? That's our goal line. Hey, wait a second. We're outnumbered. This is not fair. Objection overruled. Hey! Ooh, tastes like sweat bands. <laughs> now that's not fair. <laughs> Tough. Hike! You playing Australian rules? Yeah, I'm trying to put you down under. Six feet down under. So she tried past play. Okay, but throw it soft. And with your arm, not your tongue. You are. Uga 52. Hut, hut, hike. Ah. No good. You were out of bounds. I was not. I had both feet in. Who cares? You didn't get a first down, so it's the Koopa's egg. the ball? What do you mean, catch the ball? You were the ball! 